Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. I'm still working on the gifts I'm going to be giving that are inexpensive and fun to make. They're very quick and easy. I hope you'll stay tuned. So what I did was I bought this bag of buttons. It's called the Big Bag of Buttons. I got it at Joann's Fabric, and I think I got it at 50 or 60% off. It's $6 originally, but you get a lot of buttons. And um, this will be fun to do with your kids, I think. What we're going to be doing is we're making a Christmas ornament out of it. And I'm trying to make sure I don't drop it. It's, um, it's a tree, eventually. Okay, you're going to start with your biggest of your two sets of green buttons, because this is going to be your trunk. And you're going to stack them on your needle like this. And then I'm going to stack the next one. And the next one, I'm going to try and keep as many as I can on there. And then I'm going to put a red one in there. And then a green one. And then these ones I'm putting upside down because um, otherwise they didn't um, show up very well. Still keep keeping them on my... Um, on the needle as far as you can. You're holding the needle in place. You might be able to get them all on there. Hopefully we can get them all on there. Let's see how we're doing so far. And then that red one and that green one. And then I want to put something on the top. So I have some little uh, stampin' up things and I couldn't decide there's some bells doesn't really look right and then there is um, a, a piece a poinsettia mm, maybe I'll do a couple poinsettias okay then I'm going to pull the needle through and then I'm going to go back down through each of my, hopefully keeping them in place, so going back through trying to make sure you line them up again. If you wanted to, you could just make your tree look like that you know what I mean you wouldn't have to have a base but I think you need a base so let me fix this so I have a base okay I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna tie this much off I'm using embroidery thread by the way and I have two strands I like it because it's a lot sturdier and you don't have to worry about it breaking because you've got two strands. At least I'm not going to worry about it breaking because I have two strands. You could use more if you wanted. If, and I use a big, um, my needle has a big, um, what do you call that, head? Whatever you call that. All right. We're rolling again. And I don't think I have to make that tighter. Okay, let me cut that little bit off. Thread back through on the, these four that I just did. And we'll make them tight. If my knot hadn't come through, you know, if I hadn't had that little issue with my knot, this would have been a lot easier. But, and my lighting's really bugging me too. base on so it's tight. Remember most of these had four um, they were like four 
hold buttons so that makes a big difference so it's easier to go down through them all And then just for good measure, I'm going to put just a little dab of hot glue. That way, that will protect the very bottom. And then I have this little piece right there. And I'm just going to put a little glue on that little piece. And I'm going to push my pieces down on it. And that way my tree is nice and nice and glued to my table. Um, nice and steady. So here it is. I hope you can see it. I think he's kind of cute. Doesn't take very long. My mom taught me this when I was a kid. She used to make them at Sunday school with her first grader kids and I always thought it was such a good idea and I thought it would be perfect to show you guys as a quick thing you could make for Christmas in the last days before Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that and thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.